Okay everyone, Rob Orgel with Spartan Armor Systems. In today's video, we're gonna look at Molly pouches and how to properly attach them to your vest or body armor. Now with my background in the military, combat instructor, and private military contractor, I've seen a lot of different setups. Now depending upon your mission, you could have several different reasons for all different types of gear. So let's take a look at a few examples. You'll see on this plate carrier, I've got a few pouches laid out. Now the first thing I like to do before I start handling my kit is I remove the small arms protective inserts. This makes the kit a little bit more malleable and easier to weave the molly. You'll need several different ladder spaces for that molly to lay appropriately on the kit. It is my advice that you keep them low. If the body armor is being worn correctly, it sits rather high on your chest. This way, if you have your magazines high as well, it makes them very difficult to get to. So the lower you can set your magazines without them falling off your kit, the better. So I like my magazines to sit right about here. So finding the correct amount of ladder spaces and then placing it on your kit where you want it as kind of a test run before you start weaving. This saves you the heartache of having to undo it and redo it a second time. Now that I can find how much ladder space I need, I lay them out in the order I want them. Now you'll also find that I've placed the magazine pouch off to the right. This would simulate like a right-handed shooter. He has rapid access to his magazines on his non-firing hand for his emergency reloads, and his radio is a little bit more of an administrative thing. Also, you'll see that the thicker pouches that have the additional magazine pouch for pistol, Leatherman, or flashlight, I push those off to the side. The reason I do that is because I like having the center as thin as possible so that when I lay in the prone position, I'm as low to the ground and able to get down behind my rifle appropriately so. All right, so I like to start from left to right or right to left. This way I'm not working on that last pouch while he's sandwiched between a couple that are already in place. Now that we see our placement and how many ladder slots we need, we'll begin weaving from the top. Now I like to do both at the same time if possible. And then you can get a fingernail or the uh, Leatherman to grab underneath here. And if he gives you trouble, sometimes having the mouth to give a little pull. To help pull that through, especially when you start coming back through these tighter slots, the Leatherman can be your best friend. And you can see why, as this is bending and flexing, why it's useful to take the plates out. I don't care who you are, it's always a struggle. So on the high speed gear pouch, you come weave back through inside the retaining clip, give them a tug, and again, the Leatherman kind of your best friend on this one. This so way you free up that space, and then you can lock him into place. And he accepts that little button, so he's now locked. Next, we're gonna look at attaching your AFAC. Now, when attaching your medical kit, you can put it in several different locations. I'll tell you, if you're doing vehicle operations and you put it on your back, you're not gonna be very happy about it. So a lot of guys opt to push it to their sides. Having it to the front is another option. Personally, I think the side is probably the best place to put it, unless you're dismounted and not doing vehicle operations, in which case behind you can be great. The problem is now that your med kit is out of the way, it's hard to access. So you'll notice that on this kit, you can rip it off via Velcro. This way you can have all your medical equipment in front of you for your emergency. Now, as we start weaving this in, I wanna show you what not to do first, because this is a very common trend and I see it on the range very often. A lot of guys will get it started, and instead of weaving back and forth between the vest itself and the pouch, they'll end up running it all the way down the vest and then come out the bottom and then simply snap it in place. So if you have this much space here, as easy it is to install and remove, unfortunately that causes a lot of movement and anything can snag underneath, which will cause the pouch to either come loose or fall off completely. So it's a good idea to always weave in and out through both sides, even though it's a tedious process. So here you can see we've timed our ladders. 
And then we're coming into the first spot and then poking right back out. And then back through in here. And you'll see that button tends to snag just a little bit. We use the file as he snags. I'll show you clearing it out of the way with that. And then back through. And again, the flexible part is useful. And the last one. And then lastly, the connection point, the button to button. So here we've got it woven correctly so that when you're on your back or in your vehicle and you do have a casualty, whether it's yourself or the other person, you can gain access to your pallet with the rip away and then have access to all of your emergency medical equipment so you can take care of whatever your casualty needs are. And then to replace it, zip it back up, and then I'm just applying back to the Velcro and then reapplying the buckle. There's a quick note. The first note is on the Spartan Armor side sappy plate inserts, you'll find that they have a weaving system that tucks in at the end. This makes it very easy for us to weave through these pouches without having the problems that you saw earlier about getting snagged on the buttons. This is the button style device you'll find on the Condor type pouches as well as many other manufacturers. So it unbuttons and then it weaves through and then at the end, as we saw, we'll get hooked on a button from time to time and then lastly it'll snap together. In this video we talked about properly weaving your Molly equipment. This way you won't leave anything behind on the range or in the field. For any other questions, please visit us at SpartanArmorSystems.com.